John McEnroe has claimed Emma Raducanu's revolving door of coaches has hindered her career since her US Open triumph. The world number 12 today lost 3 to 6, 6 to 1, 6 to 1 to world number 47, Alexander Sasnovich at the French Open, and has not got beyond the third round of a Grand Slam this year. The British number one split with Andrew Richardson after her New York win and then dispensed with German Torben Belts before the clay court season. Eurosport tennis expert McEnroe said, Honestly, if I won the US Open having gone through qualifying, I wouldn't change my coach at least for the next year. So I don't understand that move. Obviously, her parents are involved and they know more than I know. But this idea of a revolving door of coaches, I just don't think that's good for any player. Much less so for a player at this stage of her career. We have to wait and see and hopefully she finds someone she can stick with for a while. We have got to keep a little perspective here. At Wimbledon last year, she was unable to finish a match because of stress and it got to be too much for her. Then she came out and did something that no one has ever done, man or woman, in 150 years of tennis, coming from the qualifying and winning. All of a sudden, there is this pressure on her, this expectation that has gotten a little bit overwhelming as well. She has changed coaches three, four or five times which is unbelievable for someone who has just come off winning a major. I think movement is an issue for her, obviously experience. She is still very young. She has sort of put herself in a difficult position because a lot is expected of her and with the people around her, we are not sure if she is comfortable with them just yet. Hopefully, in the next year or two she will find that. Raducanu said she had no plans to add to her coaching team before Wimbledon. I was pretty happy with how things have been going the last month. She claimed, I think I'm definitely playing some good tennis. It might not show like straight away, but there are definitely elements, you know, whether that's on the practice court or certain moments on the match court. I feel like I am and I have made improvements throughout the whole clay season. Now looking forward, I'm pretty satisfied with what I've got right now.